How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. It's been a few days since I've released one, but we do have quite a bit of news to get through because it looks like everything around Camp PlayStation is seeming to crumble down. They can't actually get a single thing right at the moment and it looks like things are just getting from bad to worse. Obviously first we had Jim's resignation, which everyone knows it really wasn't a resignation. He was pushed out the door for the failure of stopping ABK. Then we have them talking about Bungie and how Bungie have kind of failed to deliver what they've basically been brought on to do. And that kind of tension has been there. There's reports that Bungie aren't happy with Sony for whatever reason. Nothing really concrete has come out from that. But those are the rumors going around. Of course, then we also have news from, you know, first party studios within PlayStation who are not happy with the, you know, the drive, the push to live service. So there's a lot going on in Camp PlayStation and things do seem to be going from bad to worse. Now, obviously, Bungie has had a lot of problems with Destiny 2 from not being able to deliver any fee, you know, any meaningful content delivering content that is pretty much 30 minutes worth of you know weekly content for story and from that 30 minutes the actual story portion of that is roughly about maybe a minute maybe two if you're lucky the rest of it is just kind of the usual dribble grind that they kind of put you through to go and do it's uh it's very interesting right but as you can see here, Bungie just can't catch a break. Whether it's just their con continuous failures on Destiny 2 or trying to make posts like this where it just doesn't work. And though the intentions may have been good, a little bit of research would have gone a long way here. But it is what it is. And, you know, a lot of people are upset. They've even got a uh, reader's context here. Other notes is almost correct not even descendants of latino migrants in the usa like latinx and latini latin people or latin person would be correct latinx and latin e are suggestions by people who don't understand latin languages or foreign culture and there's a whole uh, history of this where latinos and latina uh, just simply prefer those two categories and that's what they've basically uh as a culture as a you know group of people have decided that that is what they want to go with it's uh weird how bungie is pushing this onto them without you know it's, it's just weird but it doesn't really end there does it it doesn't because if we look over here the last of us studio is reportedly not giving severance to those it's laying off and pressured employees to keep news keep the news quiet because obviously you know Jim Ryan has just stepped down. They do not want more shakeup. They do not want more uncertainty from the shareholders. Because if shareholders start to get skittish, they sell their shares. If shareholders start to get worried, well, they look to the board and say, look, if you're not going to do this right, you know, we may have to replace you. So The Last of Us, obviously, you know, they're making factions where Bungie came along and said, Hey, by the way, this is uh, not good enough, so you kind of need to go back and redo it. And it looks like, well, layoffs have begun for that studio. And it's kind of, it's, it's getting pretty bad for Sony. So if we look over here, again from post up, Loss of a Studio Naughty Dog is cutting developers. PlayStation First Party Studio behind Uncharted and The Last of Us 2 is laying off dozens of contractors. Now, are these actually contractors or contracts? It's written differently depending on which article you go to and which article it is. If it's contractors, well, they are kind of let off. You know, they come in and come out. It's not that big of a deal. But if these are people that were brought on for a specific purpose and that purpose isn't done and they're kind of starting to rethink their strategy, then obviously it's a concern for the consumers right because things aren't going the way they planned and as we can see here according to one source told kotaku the last of us multiplayer game is currently on ice the multiplayer game while not completely cancelled aka so you know it's knights of the old republic kotor 
is basically on ice at this point, which basically means development has stopped, right? And that would explain why the contractors are being let go because they've kind of come to a point where though this was actually a good idea in my opinion because it actually was supposed to have a story you know a story it was supposed to have a story based element to it as well which kind of progressed the last of us part two story but it seems like this is now coming to a complete end it's on ice development has stopped and those people that were contracted to work on this are now being let go which basically means that there's not going to be any development for the considerable future so those that were looking forward to factions too well you're probably going to be out of luck for quite a bit it's not looking good like i said this was like one of their games that they were looking forward to and kind of pushing you know sony especially with jim ryan pushing for that live service because this is one area that playstation is lacking multiplayer and though they've bought bungie Destiny 2, I guess, is still making money. But, you know, there's no guarantee that Marathon is going to do well. It's it's still hit or miss. So to assume that it's going to do well is, I guess you can technically think it's going to do well. Bungie do have a good track record in actually delivering high-grade uh, products. They just don't know how to maintain them, a.k.a. Destiny 2. Now, a lot of people said that Activision was the reason why Destiny 2 was heading to the slums and now we've pretty much confirmed that that was never the case it was always bungie and their incompetence in actually being able to deliver meaningful content because for the longest time now i mean forsaken was absolutely amazing right let's make no mistake but vicarious visions were the ones that spearheaded that not bungie uh, the witch queen was the first expansion i'd say that bungie worked on that actually delivered that delivered but that was it you know, they've had loads of DLCs, loads of seasons, and almost nothing is delivered. And then Sony were relying on Bungie to kind of help them fix all their problems and pass on their expertise. And it looks like uh, I don't think Bungie is actually doing that. So the 3.6 billion that they gave Bungie is pretty much going down the drain. It doesn't look like it's actually paying off. It looks like this purchase was a complete colossal waste for Sony because as we know all of their games are going to be multi-platform and there is nothing Sony can do to stop this there is nothing they can do to prevent this because Bungie have the final say and Bungie are pretty much independent from Sony even though Sony owned them Sony may own uh some rights to make the movies or tv series or you know, animated series merchandise this is the type of stuff that they wanted to do with destiny they also you know can dive into the expertise of bungie for live service games which doesn't seem to be going well at this point and like i said at the beginning of the video it looks like bungie is actually uh you know not happy with sony at least that's what the rumors are saying but there's not really anyone talking about this news that the last of us multiplayer game is on ice there's no news that the last of us and there's only kotaku i haven't seen ign talk about this pc gamer metro i haven't seen any pc centric you know website talking about these layoffs and it's kind of weird right that they're not talking about this i think it's i think it's actually hilarious and it just shows the level of biasness towards this Finally, I wanted to touch on something else, and for those of you who do have PlayStations and are looking forward to Spider-Man, be careful. There's a lot of crap going on in Twitter at the moment. Um, if you want me to cover it in a separate video, I can, but I'm just going to give a quick TLDR here. Essentially, uh, one specific person in the uh, on Twitter on the Xbox side is being severely harassed, misgendered, and PlayStation fans are basically piling onto this and, you know, completely unprofessionally uh, abusing them, harassing them, uh, calling them pedos and stuff like this. It's, it's, it's really dark stuff. Um, and this is coming from Camp PlayStation. And so in retaliation, these Xbox fans are posting spoilers for Spider-Man. Now, I'm going to say this. Clearly, I don't believe that posting spoilers is the right way to go. You can report them to Twitter and that can deal with it. 
However, uh, not a single PlayStation fan complained when Starfield spoilers were being posted. But they have no right to complain now when Spider-Man spoilers are being posted. It goes both ways, right? If you're going to spoil Starfield for Xbox fans, do not expect the same thing in return. And to be honest, I don't think they would have done it. But the fact that they have aggressively attacked this person, along with a couple of others with like fake accounts and stuff, is quite disturbing. And honestly, I've actually spent like two, three hours looking for such acts from Xbox accounts, and I've not found a single one. If you have found it, let me know, and I will put it on the main tag where Xbox fans are creating PlayStation Twitter handles and stuff and posting on their behalf, because I could not find it. This is a Sony PlayStation fanboy only situation. Anyway, if you want me to cover this story in another video, let me know in the comment section below because I've got a lot to say about this and it can get quite heated as I do this. So that's the video. The Last of Us Studio Naughty Dog is cutting developers. It looks like factions is pretty much dead on a dead pretty much and on ice. And what it says on ice, it means development has stopped. And the fact that they're letting the developers go is pretty much proof of this. The fact that no publications are actually reporting on this outside of Kotaku shows the complete media bias once again. That's it. That's the video. See you in the next one. Being legend.